with duties at Dolphin Prices. Uh, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel so you get notified every time. I post something new remember this is still a new channel so I still got some growing to do and obviously you guys support means the world to me so subscribe if you like this video at the end you can like it as well and comment follow me on Instagram <laughs> and let's get into it <coughs> hmm. so Today's video, as the, the title suggests, is going to be some deep stuff, okay? When someone is showing you they don't care about you, my sister, believe them. Believe them. My brother, if brothers are watching too, believe them. It's not a joke, okay? There's no need to waste time on people who are clearly displaying that they don't care about you. It's not necessary. The reason why I wanted to do this video today, actually, I was talking to somebody. We we're having a conversation um, about a certain situation. And she basically said, because I had said, if someone don't care about you, you know, keep it moving. There's no need to waste time. And she said, yeah, but if, um, uh, what she said is the grass is not always greener on the other side. Um, the grass is green where you water it, you know. That's what she basically said. And I said, yeah, in a situation where if you had grass and then your grass is clearly dying, yeah, then water it. But if it was dead earth and it's always been dead earth, why are you watering dead earth nothing will grow there the only thing that's going to happen is that you're going to waste your energy and your time and time is something you can never get back time is something you can never get back in this life is the only thing you can never get back is time it's, it's not you know it's not that you know you can do something tomorrow and tomorrow yeah you can do something tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow but you'll never get the 11th of february back again that's not what today's date is but it's the first thing that came in my mind you know today you know but um you know you can never get you know the minute that's just passed i will never get it back you know time always goes it doesn't pause it doesn't stop because you fancy making a few mistakes and wasting time on scallywags time will keep going and you're going to keep getting older and older and older and is done yeah fair enough yolo and stuff but yolo doesn't mean you waste precious time you know you want to make your time count and wasting time on dead earth is not making time count let me tell you that all you're going to end up with is yourself feeling hurt and damage done to yourself because the person who's showing you from day one that they don't care about you isn't gonna care when you're the one who's upset and you're the one who's hurt because they displayed from day dot they don't care about you and you still stayed there and watered the dead earth that wasn't worth watering you know so that's the reason why i wanted to do this video today i wanted to you know basically just let people know not to waste their time i'm going to share a story as well and yeah you know there's no time for wasting on scallywags there is no time for wasting on scallywags you won't get your time back and it's just it's not necessary it's not necessary the thing is yeah with us women and i've done this myself yeah i'm a person in my former years <laughs> i used to give far too many chances when i say far too many chances far too many chances okay 
unfortunately with some of us women and i've said some so no one come and attack me and say i said every woman yes i know there's some of you who have been smart from day one and i salute you some of us we had to learn the hard way but unfortunately what some of us do we get this guy who's showing us they don't care about us treating us unfavorably <laughs> and we paint this picture in our mind we tell ourselves this guy has potential this guy has potential to be great if only he changed x y and z and so we paint this picture in our mind fall in love with this version of the guy that doesn't exist only but in our mind and we stay with the person who's treating us badly purely based on the fact that we are falling in love not with the guy that's standing there but with the guy that's in our minds the guy that we've told ourselves could be this guy if only he tweaked this he stopped doing that he started doing this and then he would be perfect and we tell ourselves that we are the ones who will make these changes happen we are the ones who are going to help them achieve greatness and be the perfect man my sister <laughs> we need to stop doing that okay no man is changing for any woman unless he wants to change none of them unless they want to be a better man for you unless they want to be a good man for you they ain't gonna do it they ain't gonna do it they're just gonna look at us throwing ourselves at them trying to do everything to show them that we love them so that they might in turn return us with that love and they're just gonna look at us and be like well I'm not showing this one any attention, any affection, doing, I'm not doing right by her, yet she's still cooking for me, she's still giving me the bedroom activities, she's doing all of that, why do I now need to make the effort to be good to her, because this is what I'm getting and I'm not being good to her, and I'm fine with this, they're not going to do it, they ain't going to do it, they ain't going to change, they're not going to become better because we're doing the most to try and be like, look at me, I'm a good woman, treat me right, treat me right, they're not going to do it, all it's going to do is waste our own time, we're the only ones getting hurt in the process and they're just getting a free ride, you know, they're getting their meals cooked and do, you know, don't play wife for girlfriend prices. I learned that from Judge Lynn Tola, if you watch Divorce Court. <laughs> Don't do wife duties at girlfriend prices. Do that stuff when you're married, okay? Don't do that for some, 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 any, any guy who's not even treating you properly. Don't do it. It's not necessary. We're only hurting ourselves in them kind of situations. We are only hurting themselves because they don't care and they are exhibiting that in their behaviour, letting you know they do not care. You know, when there's things that you want them um, to do for you and they're coming back with excuses or plainly saying, I don't do that, knowing that is something that means something to you and they are choosing choosing is a choice you know not to do it that guy doesn't care about you don't waste your time don't waste your time keep it moving and you know there's someone out there praying for someone that is like you don't waste your time on this cat on this scallywag who doesn't deserve you who doesn't even deserve toenail clippings okay just leave it alone but yeah i'm gonna ask promise you guys a story so let me tell you a story of my stupid younger years and the thing with me yeah i'd like to say when i say my stupid younger years i'm not a stupid person this is the thing that annoys me about myself 
I am very aware of everything that happens around me. I clock onto things so quickly. I've always been like that, even as a child. I clock things and I keep quiet. Don't ask me why I do that, but it's something I've always done. I um I guess I try to avoid confrontation. And even though when I, you know, reached adulthood and I would start speaking out about certain things a bit more, I still gave chances for people to correct themselves. And obviously it didn't happen. But yeah, it's not that I was naive and I, my head was in the clouds. I, I'm always aware. I've always been like this. I've always been aware of what's going on. And I still stick around. That's my own foolishness. But yes, going into the story. <laughs> um, I would say in my life, there's been two main guys that I've wasted a significant amount of time on. Who didn't even deserve... Crumbs. They didn't deserve crumbs. Oh, we've got a visitor. Hey, babes. Hey, you just come to see what I was doing. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? You want to say hi to YouTube real quick? And then mom can continue with the story of her younger years. And you are not going to grow up to be a scallywag, isn't it? Because I will hunt you down. And I will tell you, my boy, I didn't raise you that way. I didn't raise you that way. Why are you so dirty? Oh dear. Anyway. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, two main guys that I've wasted a lot of time on and yeah but i'll only talk about one for today the second one is a sort of a different topic but he's also he also falls onto the the bracket of don't get i think he does more so but there are other things i need to cover with that as well so let me just talk about this one for now this one i met in my very early years of 20 when i was 20 i met him <clears throat> and he was a Niger demon, you know, that's what he was, you know, um, he wasn't really my type, my type is kind of, I won't say a big guy, but you know, they've got a bit of size to them, I like a tall, thick, you know, the, you know, the thick men, tall, deep voice, beard, that's my type. This guy, he was tall, light-skinned, clean-shaven, skinny, fancied himself as a bit of a Trey Songz, pretty boy type guy. And it wasn't my type, but, you know, I was 20 and he was like, hey, you know what, let's waste some time. <laughs> I met him at a rave. I started dating this guy purely by accident. It wasn't even like, you know, when I say by accident, I met him in a rave and I got two guys' numbers and one of them asked me when I went home to text them when I got home just to let them know that I got home safely. The one who did ask me, because when I got home, I'd forgotten who, which one it was, you know. The one who did ask me, I texted them both and... He replied me some weird reply. I looked at it and I said, yeah, I'm never talking to you again. <laughs> and then the one who didn't ask me, he, because I, uh, did I say? I text them both. I don't know if I just said. But, um, yeah, the one who didn't ask me, he replied a normal human being reply. And I was like, okay. And then we just kind of started conversating from there. And then we met up and then et cetera, et cetera. And um, it was all right in, you know, his very first early days. And, you know, 
we spent a bit of time together he met my family rather quickly actually because obviously people wanted to see him straight away <laughs> and um yeah but there were obviously there were some red flags very early on and i clocked these red flags and i told myself like yeah i'm not stay i'm not gonna spend too much time on this guy this was my clear intention i was going to dump this guy but there was a certain situation and i i needed to use him for something and before anyone says it, it was not 419 yes he was nigerian but that's not what i was using him for it was something else and he knows about it before anyone says oh, what if he watches this he knows about it something i told him this face to face at some point he's very aware so um the first red flag that popped up was i met this guy in november and so new year's eve he said um he was gonna meet up with us i was out with my mum my sister um and there were some other people and he said he was gonna come and join us so of course we waited for him and time's going time's going this guy's a no-show i call him i called him and then he was like oh um i am at church you're at church yeah i'm at church so if you knew all this time you were going to go to church why didn't you just say oh i'm gonna be at church why say you're coming and you're not you're at church <laughs> but yeah so that was red flag number one red flag number two was a couple months later in february it was his birthday his birthday was coming up he was gonna have a big party um a rave party and he invited my mum as well so the night before the party he called me it wasn't even the night before the party it was the day of the party the day of the party he called me and then he said there's going to be another girl there and that girl will be hug probably be hugging up on me and kissing up on me but don't mind her that's what he said to me and i said are you crazy what do you think i am you expect me to come to this party stand aside while this other female is all over for you and my mum is present are you for real <laughs> so much so this guy cancelled his party he cancelled the party because he i guess he kind of clocked that the drama would be sky high he cancelled the party and he even went so far as to stay on the phone with me the entire night so that i knew that this party was not happening yeah why go through such lengths to cancel a party eh but anyway that was red flag number two and by then it was just clear to me that you know once i had finished my purpose with this guy he was going to be dumped because at that time i was losing interest and clearly there were games being played and obviously cheating and i had seen things in his house as well um female stuff in a backpack and he's oh his friend just left her ba her bag here and left her shoes here he gave me the excuse of oh her parents doesn't her parents don't know that she goes clubbing so she leaves all her clubbing stuff there and it was basically clubbing clothes and heels and stuff so it was just like at at the time it was acceptable to me because of the age that we were i knew there because i had a friend like that who whose parents would like kill her if they found, knew she was going out so it was a it was a logical to me it, it made it made sense to me so i didn't think too much about it but obviously as things were going on then i started believing it less red flag number three was like a week and a half valentine's day after the birthday thing um 
basically you didn't do nothing for Valentine's this was our first Valentine's Day there was no nothing and even by then my mum was even opening her mouth to say you know this guy doesn't seem to be serious you know like things that couples do together he doesn't do with you and it was irritating me that even my mum was saying something because I knew in my mind I wasn't trying to stay with this guy but you just always feel that embarrassment when your parents come to say something to you in it but I needed him to serve his purpose and he was gonna get discarded so how things went awry and I ended up with this guy five years on and off Give me one second, it's gone very silent. I don't know what my child is doing. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I just wanted to see what he was doing. And now I'll just come back. So how things went awry and I ended up with this guy for five years on and off. Why is your ear dirty? What did you do? Yeah, your ear is dirty. Anyway, <laughs> motherhood. Um, yeah, so um, the next month in March, I believe it was March, um, there was a situation. And basically, as I mentioned in my last video, I basically got kicked out of my, my mum's house, yeah. So it was all unexpected. It was unplanned. And so I got thrown very of course like you know i'm a person i i have like i always have a strategy and so my strategy had gone to pot and um at the time i was in uni and i was working part-time in asda and now i was homeless and it was just like i was really thrown i was disorientated it was like wow and you know life wasn't good at that point and um what happened was when i obviously i got kicked out this guy stepped up and said come and live with me and it was like what <laughs> it, it threw me aback because in my mind i was gearing up to leave this guy and now in this situation he was the only person who basically was helping me <clears throat> and it was just it threw me and then um you know because it's like we weren't i have i hadn't known him that long it was like four months or three months we had actually been even dating and he said to come and live in my house now he obviously knew the situation because he had spent time around my family he knew like because nothing was really hidden he knew what was going on i guess so when it happened it wasn't a big shock it was a big shock but it was it was he kind of was like oh okay that's kind of happened now come so that's what happened and he was like okay so he let me stay with him i was there for two months and then i saved up enough to rent somewhere and then i left his place and because of everything that happened and i was feeling all discombobulated and disorientated and i didn't have anyone and then he just turned out to be the only person in my life who was like a fixed thing and the only one who was like helping me and just supporting me shall i say so i clung to him and yeah that's kind of how that happened now the two months that i was in his house obviously some things went down <laughs> things did go down and i should have left him and uh, let me tell you the two things that what happened first of all before i move on so the first major incident was i found out he had a child yes a child a baby 
no, the baby weren't living there, obviously. Um, what happened was I had this raging gut feeling one night to go through this guy's phone. And you know, when your gut tells you to do something, your gut, your, your gut, your spirit always knows when something is off. So I followed through, went through his phone, found the text from the child's mother. And I left it till the morning. I didn't want to wake him up and start having a fight then and there. And I needed to go to work in the morning because at the time I was working from 6am till... 10am and because I was staying with him now it was far away from my work and I had to leave his house at like four in the morning to get to work <laughs> so yeah so I left it I thought I'm not gonna do this now let me wait till I come back from work later on so that's what I did waited till I come back from work and I just dropped it I said so you have a child and I swear on the spot, this guy had a story to tell me straight away. How is not his child, it's his ex-girlfriend who cheated on, on him with his best friend. So it's his best friend's baby, but he is the godfather to the baby. <laughs> now, obviously, I knew this was a lie yeah i knew it was a lie but i didn't have any evidence to to come and say you're lying so i had to accept it and i just obviously went on later on to to gather more evidence more concrete evidence that he couldn't come and say no stupid story to try and deny the child again it took me a couple of days and I came back and I said, so you lied about having a child. This is what I found. <laughs> so he couldn't deny it. And I told him, you lied about your child. Shame on you. How are you lying about having a child? It's one thing not telling people you have a child, but when confronted with him and then you want to deny the child, Mm -mm -mm. but yeah that was major incident number one major incident number two was not so funny it was basically domestic violence against me and obviously i don't really need to go into the details of that one but that happened so eventually i left his house and rented somewhere now when I was leaving, my brain, my very clever, smart brain said to me, Maya, you are now leaving this guy's house, okay? Yes, he helped you, but this guy is no good. Look at all that has transpired in the two short months that you have been in his house. He helped you, but it's not worth spending any more time on this guy. Leave him. Never speak to him again. You're now no longer in his house. Just go. Clean break. Break free. That was my brain. My heart, or whatever demon was whispering nonsense into me, said no 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 you can't do that you know he helped you in your time of need he's the only stable thing in your life right now if you leave him you're going to be totally alone you're not going to have anyone and obviously you owe him for letting him stay in your house so obviously I listened to the demon and <laughs> stayed with him on and off for about four, five years on and off where there was obviously more cheating, more lies, more domestic violence obviously and it just went on like that till I reached a point where I felt like I had lost myself 
and that's when I really felt like my heart cut this guy off yeah you guys have some good times because the relationship was fun when we were good we were it, it was good like we would do pranks and you know like it was fun but the bad outweighed the good tenfold like stop holding on to this guy for the small little bit of banter that you guys have and look at all the list the list the never ending list of heartache headache stress to the point that you start and you know when you, you're going through so much and you just start to feel numb and you don't even feel human anymore you just feel like a zombie that's the point i reached and it's like maya just go just go and i was like the thing was i was always breaking up with this guy because i knew the that this guy wasn't good for me but he's one of them guys that you know when you leave them they don't leave you alone and they they did just always popping up there was one particular time he used to drive up and down my house with loud music so i knew he was there just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth there was a, <laughs> another time and this time we had been broken up for maybe like a year it was a long time and one day out of the blue, I had changed my number and everything so that he couldn't contact me. And one day out of the blue, he showed up at my house. By this time I had graduated uni. I had I chose not to like go into proper work yet. I stayed at Asda, but I switched from my early morning shifts to night shifts so that I was making more money. And he um so I was at home, it was a daytime just like chilling before i had to go to work in the night and this guy came out of out of the blue to my house someone let him in because i was living with other people someone let him in i don't know why they let him in because they should have clocked that this guy hasn't been around here for the longest time you know maybe we should ask if maya wants to see him but they just let him in and he came outside my the door to my room and knocked and i instantly knew it was him he didn't say anything or anything but when he knocked something in me straight away told me this guy is outside my door so i didn't answer it and i stayed deadly silent <laughs> i stayed deadly silent in the hopes he would go away and he didn't he didn't go away i didn't hear him walk off he stopped knocking but you know when someone walks off you hear them and i didn't hear him walk off and i stayed silent for a good 20 minutes just kind of hoping maybe i just missed it i didn't hear the walking off and then i opened my door 20 minutes later and this guy's just sitting outside my door just sitting there like he really wouldn't leave me alone when i said you know we are broken up and even the final time when we broke up he was still like trying and he would send like um messages still like professing his love to me and then delete them like i didn't see it already and just doing stupid games like that you know like you would never just allow it and just be like okay this girl's really had enough let me just leave her alone he would always 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 be on my case and a lot of the time i just kind of gave in but yeah it, it was a lot of toxic behavior and the next guy that i remember i said that it was two separate guys the next guy as well he was very toxic but i'm not going to go into that right now because there's some other things with that one that should really just be a separate video um but yeah it was just a lot a lot a lot of headache <laughs> headache it was just headache and you know the, so much so that i felt like it killed my spirit kind of you know i wasn't the same person that i was before 
and you know it's 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 not worth it it's not worth wasting your time on someone who you know is not good for you i knew he wasn't good for me i knew he was a headache and he was a cheater and a liar and a, 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 a violent person when he was ready and all of that stuff and i still stayed with him because i told myself that this, you know, this guy is has the potential to be such a great guy. And when we're good, we're good. And and if only he stopped being a little, you know, he stopped with the violence and he stopped with the cheating. Then we will be good, you know, we'll be good. Everything will be good. Mm, yep. Let me tell you, yeah. Let me tell you the thing about domestic violence, yeah. Is always the first time they hit you is the hardest time because that time they don't know how you're going to respond to it so once they've done it the first time and you let it slide they say they'll never do it again you let it slide you don't call the police or you don't batter them back or you don't you just let it slide like I did I let it slide I actually even blamed myself and said it's because I okay I'm in his house and he's fed up that's the reason i gave myself you know i'm in his house and he's just a bit fed up of me and he's just kind of flipped and it's my fault that's why i told myself the first time you know we women can be mad but anyway once they hit you the first time and they get away with it best believe there's going to be more times because the first time that's the riskiest time because they don't know what the outcome would be of that action the next time they do it they know you're not going to do anything about it so they're going to keep doing it and that's what that's what happens with people like that so you know if anybody dares put their hand on you call the police instantly call the police instantly now when i say instantly if you're in a situation where you feel you fear for your life obviously get out <laughs> you know don't stay there in front of the person and dial 999 because you know they're going to try and prevent you from doing so but you know get out or scream or make the most noise for get someone's attention save yourself get out of there get out of that environment and then get the police involved that after that first incident don't wait you know, it took me a while to learn that. I I eventually did call the police one time, but that was after a few incidents had occurred. You know, I you know, I yeah, <laughs> I haven't been the smartest cookie, but you know, it's all been a learning experience. You know, it's shaped me into the woman I am today, and I think I'm fab. You know, it's clear that I'm fab. It's not even a thought, it's a fact. You know, it's a fact. So, so, you know, don't waste your time on these guys, these toxic guys, these... Even if you, even if the guy is not a, a, a violent guy, if this guy is showing you they don't care about you, they're not there for you at important times, they don't want to do things that you like, they make excuses for it, you know part of being in a relationship is that you th you think about someone else's feelings now i'm not saying put someone above yourself that i don't like that choice of words but if it's something that will not kill you to do it and you know it will make the other person happy then do it you know the whole point of a relationship is that you you know you make small you know so certain sacrifices for each other you know you want to make each other smile if like for example um valentine's day if you're with a guy and they're telling you they don't want to celebrate valentine's day knowing it means something to you they're just purely doing that just to be wicked it's just wickedness it will not kill them to go and you know spoil you a little bit and even if you know even if we're going to say okay fine you really don't celebrate valentine's day there are 364 other days in the year where you can go and make your girl feel special if you really don't want to be doing it on the 14th of february 
there's other days where you can say i'm gonna spoil her today let me do that then valentine's day won't even matter valentine's day won't even matter because you know what you take care of your girl every day not not you know but even every day of the year yeah you deserve every day of the year why not you know he's taking care of you he's making you feel loved he's spoiling you once in a while you know but then valentine's day won't matter and if you really it's your core belief that you you ain't celebrating valentine's day there's no excuse for you not to make up for it on other days of the year you know them kind of man there who just use you use certain things as an excuse because it's not it's not acceptable it's not acceptable i'm sorry it's not acceptable there are basic things that uh, you need to do in order to in order to have a um a strong relationship and when them there's guys out there who make excuses not to do certain things i'm not lovey dovey i'm not this i'm not that just choosing is a choice to deny you of basic necessities they don't want to give you attention they don't want to i've got so many stories to tell you guys <laughs> but not in this video but you know they're coming they're coming but Mm -mm -mm. don't waste your time on these guys don't waste your time on these guys who don't appreciate you don't waste your time on these guys who don't know your worth don't waste your time on these selfish scallywags who who have no home training clearly just you know keep moving your king will come there's somebody out there praying for someone who is just like you do not degrade yourself giving your time your heart your 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 soul to this worthless piece of trash don't do it he don't deserve it he don't deserve it he had a chance with you he's blown it by being a heartless person move on to the next one don't waste your time don't give him your heart and you know what everything will be fine and there is someone out there for you we don't we don't have to be you know um giving ourselves to these guys who are not worth it you know like i said if someone shows you they don't care about you believe them if they don't care about you move on if they're not showing you they care move on don't listen to words watch their actions if their actions are showing you because some of these guys are good at talking the talk they will say all the right things but their actions never match actions don't lie actions do not lie okay guys so yes i want to end my video here because i feel like i can be talking about this all day and i have to actually go and cook now so <laughs> if you like this video give, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to the channel subscribe i would really appreciate it um comment below if you would like to comment anything and give it a thumbs up like i said already follow me on ig and i will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye